Hello, welcome to Sorosa's classes. In this video, I will be solving some of the subjective questions from tomato book. Now, in our first question, we need to find the number of positive integers less than or equal to 6300 which are not divisible by 3, 5 or 7. Now, our universal set S is equals to 1, 2, 3 till 6300. Now let us denote A as the set of integers divisible by 3, B as set of integers divisible by 5, and C as set of integers divisible by 7. Now since we have to find the positive integers which are not divisible by 3, 5 and 7, so what we actually have to find is N of S minus n of a union b union c which is equals to 6300 minus n of a plus n of b plus n of c minus n of a intersection b similarly n of b intersection c and minus n of a intersection C plus N of A intersection B intersection C. That is, if these are the three A, B, C, so we are subtracting this part, this part, and this part, and then we are adding this small part like this, which is equals to 6300 minus. 6300 by 3. Why divided by 3 is because in our set S, every third element is divisible by 3. Similarly, every fifth element is divisible by 3. So it is 6300 divided by 5 plus 6300 divided by 7 minus 6300 divided by 15. minus 6300 divided by 35 which is the product of 5 and 7 minus 6300 divided by 21 that is 3 into 7 plus 6300 divided by 3 into 5 into 7 which will give our answer that is n of a union b union c complement which is equals to 288 zero and this is our answer in our next question we have a sequence a n and this sequence is said to have some property p if there exists a positive integer m such that a n is less than is equals to one for every n greater than equals to m and we have to determine whether these sequences have that property or not. So, we will go to our first series. Here, for every number, for every even number greater than is equals to 2000, we have a n less than is equals to 1. And for every odd positive number, we, also, we have a n less than is equals to 1. Here, our a n is a decreasing sequence and a, it is a decreasing sequence and a 2000 is equals to 0 0.9 plus 200 divided by 2000 which is equals to 1. Therefore, our a n satisfies the property p. Now, in our second sequence, let us consider n is equal to 4k, which is even. Then, a 4k is equal to, from this, we have 1 plus cos 4k pi 
by 2 divided by 4k which is equals to 1 plus 1 by 4k cos 2k pi which is equals to 1 plus 1 by 4k since cos 2k pi is equals to 1. Now 1 plus we know that 1 plus 1 plus 4k is definitely greater than 1. So here the property P does not satisfy. That is our second sequence does not have the property P.